everyone welcome back to our channel yes it's been a while that we have posted worksheet videos and here is one with simple set of activities as always i'll be tagging the link to this printable in the description box below and if you're new to our channel and would like to check our other worksheets then please check the card above if you really like it then please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for future updates. While working on this printable, make sure to tweak the activities as per your child's interest. So come, let's get started. So the first activity is follow the pattern and continue the sequence. Uh, it's more like a usual pattern matching activity, but this time I have included few numbers and alphabets based sequence just to see how he is going to work on it so for example if we take this he just needs to figure out how this sequence has been framed to find the answer so for here the number is 2 1 3 3 2 4 4 3 5 so on looking at it the ending of the first set will be the beginning of the next set see 4 and here 4 will be the beginning right here so and if you see the first digit 2 and less than 1 is 1 2 more than 1 is 3 so the number is 2 1 3 and the same pattern continue right here too that is 3 less than 1 is 2 and 3 more than 1 will be 4 so keeping this on mind he needs to figure out what comes here here and here that's how it goes so now let's see how he works on it and it starts from six then the starting number is five so i put in the middle five and six plus one makes seven so i'll write seven so it comes square circle triangle square circle triangle then again comes square so it's a skipping so a it skips b then it goes to c c it skips d and it goes to E. E skips F, then it goes to D. D skips H, and it goes to I. And then I skips J, and it goes okay. to K. So I have to skip la one letter and go to the next one. So our next activity is draw a line through each shape below to make two new shapes. So, for example, here he needs to draw a line in this to make a square and a triangle. So, are you ready? Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to... One, awesome, baby. Two. Cross. Make two rectangles. Make two rectangles too easy. So next is a simple math activity to work on the nearest whole number and this activity really helps when the kid is going to work with mental max. Are you ready? Yes. So your first number is 46. So 46. 50 is the closest number. So the next one is look at the sentence below it is shaped like what it is telling about so the sentence here is i love roller coasters they are so much fun they tickle my tummy so the sentence also is written in the way that how the roller coaster moves so similarly you just need to read the sentence given below and match it with the shapes so these activities really help when they are going to work with comprehensions. I wonder if this box has my birthday gift in it. 
this box. So our next activity is read each sentence and circle the correct option. So again this activity too will support them when we are going to work on comprehension in the future. At least slowly I am just thinking to introduce a reading comprehension for Arrow. So I thought like the basics like these activities will really help them to understand what the sentence is and how we need to relate it with the options. So are you ready? Yes. He rode his bike. Who rode it? A boy because it so shows he. Look at the dark cloud. Where should you look? So the next activity is uh, based on homophones. So where he needs to find the correct word to complete the sentence. Homophones are the set of words with the same pronunciation but the meaning or the spelling will be different. I generally get confused with these words. So I thought why not I include this activity too to make him understand that the word can have the same pronunciation but based on the context the meaning will change. And my dog hurt his friend Dash from digging in the yard. Friend pause. This because it means passing the TV. I'm going to pass the TV like that. So the next one is a simple direction based activity. So here I have given a simple map with directions like north, south, east and west. And he needs to find out where these objects are in the map. So it's a simple activity to make them understand there are four directions. We can also point like left, right, up and down so that that way like when they are addressing an object instead of saying it is over there instead they can use the direction words and point to it. So it is one such activity to enforce on the directions like north, south, east and west. Are you ready? Yes. So here you first need to find out in which direction the tree is in. It's in east. Okay. Alright. So this is actually a simple activity. Once the kid gets the hang of it, then maybe like we can give the directions and make them find out what all objects that are in north side or south side or east west or in other way like um, we can ask them to draw a tent in the north so that the kid has to find out where is north and they need to draw it so this way like we can complicate the activities based on our kids level i hope you all found this video interesting and if you really like this worksheet then please take a moment to subscribe to our channel for future updates so see you all in our next video take care and bye bye